I'd like to introduce you to the clear plastic tray from Affordable Dental Products. The clear plastic tray either comes with holes or solid without holes in them. And they come in three sizes for the upper and the lower. And they also come with a, uh, a, a boxes to help them uh, be organized, organizer boxes for them. So it makes life very easy for your assistant in finding the tray size you want uh, for a given case. Now when we're dealing with an upper arch, I want to show you how to simplify the process of adapting a tray. Oftentimes trays don't fit so perfectly. So when we look at their size and we can see through it, we can see exactly what we have to readapt. We might need to oftentimes just widen out a little bit on the distal buckle of one side. So in order to do that and make it simple for us, we can go ahead and take our butane torch and we can heat the tray and using a sergeant pliers take it, grab it so that you're leaving some area, warm it a little bit more and just push it down and push it out down and out and basically what you've done is you've literally flattened it out and widened it so that it will better fit the, the model. So now we check it again. We see if that's doing what we want it to do. Okay, and we were able to move that out just enough to make that work really nicely. So now in addition to that, we could go ahead and customize the palatal area against the opposing. Now what can be really good is if you take a little Vaseline and wipe it into this area, then your wax won't stick for the wax that we place onto here, okay? So we now go ahead and we take the Vaseline, we smooth it out over the model. We go ahead and take some wax. Put it into here. The Instant Hot really helps to warm it up evenly pretty quickly. We place that on the palatal part of the, of the tray. And again, this is something that your dental assistant can have all had ready for you before the patient ever came in. And what's nice with this is that you seat this to the level of clearance that you want for the teeth. So if you look through that, and let's get up real close on this, and you can see that there's a nice clearance throughout, okay, for the teeth. Now, if it's not as much clearance as you want, then Take a little more wax, small amount more. Just add a little bit back on top. Push this back onto there again so that you have whatever thickness of clearance that you want all the way around. Now you might have excess coming over the side. So this is where you need to take your Bard Parker knife and just take away the sides. That's really all that we needed to do. And if you decide you want to, you can take a little bit off the back as well. And sometimes you could take that little bit of extra wax that you had and either put it across the front where the frenum is because you want to, maybe you, you're taking an impression of the two front teeth, so you want to of the two centrals and you want to make sure that you capture uh, everything going up high enough. Sometimes you may find that there's very, these are very long teeth so in the area that you might have stretched the tray a little bit uh, we want to lengthen the tray in that same area. We brought it out buckly more but we'd like to just lengthen it a little bit extra on that side. So now we've created a very customized tray to go in the mouth and work out very well for us, okay?